Yo, what up, angels? You already know who it is, your host, Angel. Who gave away story, story about the past or future it, all the events, it, all the events. This whole time is about when my friend A was making fun of a game banger, all right? Yes, you heard that right, all right? So let's get started, all right? This story happened way back in 2014, I guess. 2015, all right? I just don't remember, all right? I was 15 years old this day, all right? So let's get started, all right? So back then... I used to go to church, right, with my family and stuff like that, and I met O, A, and, and um, C, all right? And that church was Christian, all right? I know it's very ironic how I'm not Christian anymore, never was, and yeah. I just know it's ironic, all right? At the time of the story time, O's biggest op lived in the back of the church, all right? Because the back of the church was like a big-ass field, and... Let's call this guy Big J, all right? So Big J was O's up, right? And apparently one day that Big J said that, like someone said that Big J had a crush on O's sister. And I don't know why O was defending her like this, but I guess O didn't like the idea that Big J was trying to get at O's sister. Because O knew that Big J was a troublemaker and he didn't like that at all. So apparently they start fighting, like, somewhere in the back of the classes. Like, they're, like, fighting, like, like fighting, like... They weren't, they weren't throwing punches or stuff like that. They're, like, wrestling to the ground, like, wrestling. And the supervisor came and broke it up and said, what are you, what are you guys doing? Are you fighting? And they said, no, we're just playing. So Big J was one of the bad kids that O didn't like at all, like, in the roster, right? And some other guy called P, all right? So, yeah, let's get started, right? Pretty sure that Big J's mom, like, met one of the people at the English church because at this church, the... The white people that speak English, he goes to the morning, and we and the Mexicans go in the afternoon. Like, you know what I mean? So basically, Big J and his brothers and mom, they live in the back of the church, like bums, all right? I think they give him the the place, like rent free, all right? Because you know how people are at church; they try to help those in need, all right? Which, in my opinion, that's that's very good. That's very good. The thing is that Big J, I feel like the place was theirs, all right. So he would invite like weird ass people to back of the church. So yeah. So in this day, right, we saw like a cholo, right? Some some junky ass cholo. They hopped the fence and they were like going to the trailer, right, to go talk to Big J's brother, right. And A saw this and A was like, like, hey, look at that guy over there. Look at that cholo over there, like, like he's wearing no brand, like they like he had no brand because back then, me you know and. A and me, which we used to be obsessed with brand clothing, all right. But he was like, we're, like, like A was making fun of him. Like he was like, hey, look at him, look at him, look, look, look he's wearing like no brand like clothes. And out of nowhere, A starts yelling this, no brand, no brand, no brand. <laughs> so he was like basically making fun of this cholo guy. I don't know if he, if he was a cholo, but you could tell like he was with something, all right. And the cholo guy, he just hears it and doesn't say anything, all right? So when A was yelling that stuff, like the cholo guy, he turned, he was like looking at us. But it didn't look like he was angry or anything like that, like, like or want to fight. He was like looking, looking like this, like looking at us like this. Like you could tell you were disappointed how, how these kids were making fun of him and stuff like that. So basically, like, A made fun of this guy, and the guy didn't get mad. He just got disappointed. He just got very sad. Like, you could tell he regrets his life, like, from the past to now. So dude was like a freaking junkie. <laughs> dude was a freaking junkie, bro. Like, straight up. So so after that, like, A made fun of this guy. We just left. We just went, went to old hell and stuff like that. And I find it ironic how A is a cop now. He's a, like... A is a sheriff now, like, he's a sheriff now, all right? Like, like, this is a cop now, and I have a feeling he deals with those people all day, every day, all right? All right? Just, I just find it ironic, all right? Lesson of the story is do not make fun of people. Do not be judging people. You don't know what they're going through. And uh, I thought that was pretty funny, all right? So, yeah, laugh here and there. It's just pretty funny, all right? It's in, it's in our nature to be making fun of people, all right? Just, everyone does it, all right? Believe it or not, all right? So, yeah. Angel saying now, peace.